Well, you know, this platform is for people to really know what's going on, you know, not just locally, but globally. Oh, I love it. You know, they say you're the, the man's the head, but we're the neck. We like, we put them wherever we want to put them. Is that true? Yes, ma'am, it is. <laughs> I want you to just talk about a few pieces okay. and then the fundraiser, because that's what I'm excited about. Okay. <laughs> we forgot about love. Beautiful love. Bringing you the best in entertainment, entrepreneurship, business owners, the whole gamut. It's so exciting. I am so impressed. The vibrancy in the car and the details. Can we hold one up? Oh, absolutely. I'll hold on. Oh, I'll goodness. hold up one of my absolute favorites. So you really can't judge a book by its cover. And pageants are about beauty and brains and what you can bring to the platform. Cause girl, when you're here. Goes wrong. Yes, I need you Bringing you the finest in chefs in the DMV. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, this is awesome. Uh, Thank you so much. Uh, Smoke, pull, pork. pork. Uh, so everybody wave to your parents. <laughs> you are looking at Somerset's finest, the sophisticated ladies. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies. And I hope to see you on my set one day. Thank you. God bless you. And we're going to be doing a lot of collaboration and a lot of great things together. Glory to God. Bam! Boom! Pet out! Oh, yeah! We right here, y'all. Something you never had, you need hey, to do something you've never done. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. we going to sing right here. Miss Renee Show. Yeah! Miss Renee. Oh, yeah! we going to do it here. Right here in Listen Vision, y'all. Oh, yeah. Miss Renee. I like how you sing it. Thank you, Mustafa. Girl, I like how you sing it now. Thank you, Mustafa. And where we at now? Miss Renee Show. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Renee Allen and Friends Show, right here on WLVS Radio, the largest online radio broadcast in the United States, across from none other than HBCU, Howard University. How good is that? Welcome again. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we have to talk about the sponsors right out the gate, uh, which one is Navetica, your pet's choice. As Dr. Lance London, we're getting ready to launch these phenomenal, innovative, and revolutionary products that gives you an app free to download to give you products and services for your furry loved ones. It's just a genius um, way to enter the pet industry, and I cannot wait until we launch in a couple of weeks. Also, Everett Hall, uh, my goodness, right across um, or next to the Cheesecake Factory on Wisconsin Avenue, uh, the finest in men's wear. I love his clothing. Um, Everyone needs some Everett Hall in their life, okay? So ladies, get it for your man, and men, get in there so you can look good for your lady, okay? Come on now. <laughs> All right, well, thank you. If you'd like to be a sponsor, just contact um, WLVS Radio, the Renee Allen and Friends Show, or on Facebook, Renee Allen or Renee Starlin Allen or the Renee Allen and Friends Show, um, and uh, we can talk about a sponsorship. Thank you so much for the sponsors. We can't do it without you. So many great things coming up, and I want you to be partnered with me so we can collaborate and make some other things happen. So thanks again, Novetica and Everett Hall. Also, you know, November 6th is coming up, so everyone has to vote. Can we say V-O-T-E? Yes, November 6th. My bell doesn't want to work sometimes. Yes. Listen, I was looking at the uh, Wendy Williams show, and I was so impressed by what Reverend um, Al Sharpton said. And he said, you know, whether you liked Obama or not, do you like your mama? Because what the current administration is doing is taking away everything and anything that is going to help the seniors, um, people of color, you name it. So if you don't like Obama, I hope you like your mama and you vote the right way because we're going backwards in time. If you, if you, have, if you need to wake up and just snap, 
you know, your fingers a little bit. Um, if you look at what's happening as we're really going back, I'd say practically 200 years with this new administration, so you better wake up, stay woke, get up early, and get out and vote. I will be, and I, and I pray that you do too. Every count votes, and don't think that it doesn't. Um, when they get close to losing a race, they start to do little trickeries and, you know, tell people they don't, the, the voting ballots aren't working, all kinds of things. You just steadfast and make sure you vote. It's so crucial, okay? I got your word? All right, thank you. Listen, I want to just talk about a few things that are happening around the city. One is friend to the show, Gisette English of Speak English 5. This is her fourth, fourth or third, fourth year. Uh, my goodness. She is unbelievable. It's um, women in professional sports. She was married to an NFL player. Her son's overseas playing professional ball. Uh, she has uh, Maria, uh, Marcia Dyson, phenomenal Marcia Dyson, one of my friends and mentors. Um, McNabb's uh, mom will be there. All types of phenomenal people, networking, uh, which you rarely would get a, a opportunity to do so with these type of people and the insight that they have. So um, if we could put that up one more time, I'd like you to just snapshot that or something or go to Speak English 5 or Synergy 4 and get a ticket. It's on November 1st. It's going to be phenomenal. Um, Karen Marie Alston, all, oh, it's just going to be phenomenal, y'all. I don't know what I'll say. Oh, Dr. Lance London, uh, you know, the uh, CEO of Carolina Kitchen, where you get your chicken and much, much more, and also now Nevetica. And let me tell you something about this. There's only three African American companies in direct sales in the history of America. One is the Dudley Products, two is Tracy Lynn Jewelry, and now Nevetica, your pet's choice. Do not sleep on this opportunity. Uh, a lot of times we are building up other organizations, but this organization, we start out with color, colorful. And so it's going to be amazing. I'm so excited. All right. So, um, oh, my friend, Lena Forsley, thank you so much for your birthday gift, the Purple Runway with Gigi. And uh, oh, there's Patricia, my dear friend, Watts of We Model, and all of the wonderful things she's doing in the community and beyond. And Lena, of course, is with the Black um, Hair. And she is uh, one of my, my dearest friends as well. And she came in from Canada to celebrate my birthday a little early before going to support Gigi McMillan with the Purple Runway. I love good friends. I, I can't tell you. I'm also... Helena, Helena McKenna, you know, she is a CEO of Chase the Dream, Culture, Arts, and Beauty. I happen to be her MC for the past three years at the Silver Spring Convention Center, and I've been with her from the beginning, her and Linda Powell, and I'll tell you, I think I sent some pictures, um, I hope I did, and it's for the, my birthday. And she um, put together, yes, oh my goodness, I walked in thinking it was a small little dinner. She had the whole table decked out red and pink roses, cake, food, gifts. Thank you, darling. You know, because I'm, I, you know, a lot of y'all don't know, but I'm going through some things, some major things. And so I did not celebrate or plan to celebrate my birthday like I usually do, you know, park the 14th and all that stuff. And so my friends just kind of huddled around me and made me feel so special. So I really love y'all for that. Thank you so much. Gosh, glory to God. And um, so now what I'd like to do, do we have Giselle? Uh, coming up on Skype, I met this wonderful, free, dynamic spirit at the Power Networking Conference, um, you know, Dr. George C. Frazier. And it's the largest uh, networking conference in, well, not in the world, but it's one of the top five according to Forbes magazine. And he's a man of color. This is for um, people of color, although all different types of people show up, it's for us to network and help each other to buy black and support black businesses because we seem to be left behind um, so often. So I wanted to bring her because I met her and she, you know how you walk into a room or somewhere and someone just really lights it up or you're just drawn to them? This woman I was drawn to. Hey girl! <laughs> how are you? Amazing. Ah! give it right back to you <laughs> kiki are you with <laughs> how are you incredible thank you so much for having me here you're so welcome tell them who you are and what you do Ooh, i am a thought leader mm -hmm. humbly 
And I've come a long way to finally proudly say this to you because I've gone through a journey and I've expressed a little bit of that to you. So at this point, my mission is to just elevate the human consciousness. Yes, 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 yes. So tell me, when I met you, you were working with a gentleman and some other people, yeah. right? Um, are you still doing that? Or tell me a little bit of that, because that was so epic to me, you know, just the way you... Thank you, thank you. Yes, um, I was flown out there and ultimately had the opportunity to, you know, record this man and create a video reel and this is just a little glimpse of what i do um as you may know i am a multipreneur yes. that's what i call myself i love that come on bill these skill sets that i've acquired essentially first for me i thought why not provide them for my community and now i'm able to do this and like i said opportunities just keep coming to me and I'm just receiving at this point, and it's just elevating not only me, but those around me. Yes, yes. So what catapulted you into this dimension, this trajectory of what you're doing? I mean, because I know you've grown a lot and we've had some conversation. What was the key or some of the key elements that really took you over to the next level? This journey goes back about four or five years where I was in the legal industry practicing and as much as I stood for justice, unfortunately I didn't see it and I just didn't resonate with it. I chose it for, I'll say the wrong reasons, not knowing who I am. In my mind as a Middle Eastern child, it was lawyer, doctor, engineer. So I chose law. Come on, tell them girl, Middle Eastern child, come on now. Really, it was just you know the fear of acceptance from my parents so um, I finally went into it and realizing I am depressed <laughs> you know I'm not happy and as much as I show happiness to others personally I wasn't so I went on the search of finding who I really am and what I want to do but then also it led me to realizing okay well whatever I end up doing um, at that time, I, I didn't know how to invest. I didn't know how to properly save money. Mm -hmm. I'm like, why did it, anyone provide me with this? And then with that, it went into asking questions about my faith, asking questions about uh, my spirituality, really, ultimately, mm -hmm. and going deep within to realize how powerful our minds really are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was really a, a self-discovery now like I said, it's my mission to, um, as much as my community right now is filled with adults, I want to bring this message to the younger generation. Because yes. I go through a lot of it um, without any guidance and just going through it alone and searching and seeking. And now humbly I'm surrounded by just a tribe of literally like-minded individuals that want to do the exact same thing, elevating the human consciousness. Yes, ma'am, you said one of my favorite words, tribe. You know, mm -hmm. because we need that. We all need someone to lift us and to, you know, support us and give us some love, right? Yeah. Absolutely. What do you tell anyone who's listening now or who will be viewing this video? What do you tell them to get out of depression if they're feeling mm -hmm. that something's not quite right? What's the advice that you'd give them? Hmm. You know, I really say and it, it was a struggle for me personally mm -hmm. because I am one that um, I'm a lover of people. So I was always surrounding myself with people. But the one thing that I had to do was really just sit with myself <laughs> and be silent. And Still. ultimately, in any scripture that you look, I am that I am, mm -hmm. will present itself to you. <laughs> I love it. I love okay. it. Yeah, this, well, I wanted to bring you on. I wanted people to know you. How do they get a hold of you? And then we're going to show you a, a part of your story, the video that we have to end the segment. But what is it that you want people to know? I want them to know that they are powerful. Mm. They are able to do anything that their mind wants and any desire that they ultimately have within them. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you want it and it's not somebody else's dream. Come on now. And yeah, honestly, I always say, well, this is my newest speech. <laughs> Don't wait for a savior. Don't be that pick victim. Pick yourself up. Dust off those shoulders and start again. Yes, ma'am. Spiritually, 
mentally, emotionally, physically, and on mm. every dimension possibly. Rise up, my kings and queens. You know who you really are. Mm, Just mm, remain mm. still and know I am that I am. <laughs> Now, fear has two meanings. Forget everything and run or face everything and rise. Mm. The choice is yours. Yes, ma'am. You I love it. I love it. And I love you. I know it's a short segment. We'll have you back. But God Thank bless you. you. You touched me you. out of a 1,200 people. You Ooh. touched me. You touched my heart. And I'm, I'm usually Thank always on the run. So it's, it's very mm -hmm. rare for people to do that. But you really touched me. So I'm glad you had the time in your busy schedule. We've been running around <laughs> for weeks, right, to come on this show. And uh, we're going to um, just say your name one more time and how they can get a hold of you if you don't mind. Yes, absolutely. So, um, humbly, I'm finally going by my Farsi name. It's Azone Qasimi, but you may call me Gigi. Gigi. On, <laughs> on Facebook right now, um, I'm in the midst of changing it. Facebook is quite interesting, but it is Soul Sister Gisela. I love and it. And on Instagram, is really easy. It's just Soul Sister G. Mm -hmm. And yeah, reach out to me, and I will. Anybody that wants any sort of guidance. I am giving 33 minutes of my time just freely to be able to elevate you in any way and guide you. And if I personally can do it with my own skill sets, absolutely I will. Otherwise, I am resourceful and will guide you towards somebody else within my community. Thank you, Gigi. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're going to show a little bit of your story and I'll be in Thank touch you. with you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Blessing. Thank you. It's an honor. <laughs> Salah no Mubarak. My Farsi name is Ghazal Ghasmi Hojat Mandi, and this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I like to take a few minutes to sit right there. I'll tell you how I became known as Soul Sister G, who inspires to help you become aware. North Oshawa is where I was raised. A carefree child who pretended to sing and act is how I spent most of my days. Band and art classes all I liked in school, but to take on a career in that field, I thought my parents would surely see me as a fool. When I got to high school, I felt misunderstood. As a Middle Easterner, I was conditioned to think that I only had a few options as a career in adulthood. To become a lawyer, a doctor, or engineer. Back then, I didn't care for math and science the same way. I chose to be a lawyer. I knew my parents would approve it, for this would be a path to success. Some could even say it was a ticket. A ticket to greater things ahead. Looking back, it helped develop me. But it was hard, getting out of bed. Is this how it's going to feel like? That's not all right. For goodness sakes, I was blessed to be walking distance from my school, but I had no motivation or desire in me to use these courses as a tool. Now during this time, I was inspired to take action to pursue fashion. I guess you could say I left seeing the transformation. I felt like a blank canvas, ready to be turned into an artist masterpiece. But I was refused. Something that I loved so deeply somehow took away my peace. I was refused by my worrisome parents. To be honest, their fear didn't stop me. I knew my intentions were pure. I was confident I was able to get them to agree. I eased them into it by dabbling in Bollywood theme roles. Surely I knew I had different final goals. I thought they would approve these conservative looks, but instead they kept thinking it would take me away from the textbooks. I don't think it did. I somehow managed to balance it. It's been seven years since my first photo shoot, and I can humbly say that I've become a model for editorials, runways, YouTube videos, and there's even more. Opportunities came about when I reached out. They thought my skills were on point, my value was recognized, and opportunities just arise. The relationships I've built have made me a fashion coordinator, creative director, and even a co-host. And yes, I've acted too, but no, it wasn't just out of the blue. Time is what's required, lots of patience and hard work, so I can't say I'm surprised. But let me tell you a secret. As much as I adore fashion, I can't say it's my passion. Perhaps growing up it was, but back then, I wasn't aware. I wasn't aware of the endless possibilities that this universe has provided us, especially to offer one another. And yes, maybe my ego was so high that I didn't sit and reflect on how I may serve others. But today... Hello, hello, 
hello again. Welcome back to the Renee Allen and Friends Show on WLVS. I am sitting here with a beauty and brain, someone who I adore and met at the Evening of Cultures in Silver Spring. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me today. You are so welcome. Uh, her name is Irena Brooks, but uh, you know, she has a mixology um, business, which is Rain's 5K Drinks. And what I like to do is for you to explain how you got that name. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, originally I always had an interest in mixology, so I decided to say, let me go for it. And I couldn't find a name. I couldn't think of anything original. And I was like, you know what? I have five children. I do it for them. So that's why it's Rain's 5K Drinks. <laughs> five children. Yes. So you just told me that today, and I was like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't look like she has five children. Thank I have you. one, and I'm going crazy. <laughs> yep, five children. <laughs> My God. So how long has it been up? Uh, only since August, actually. So it's really new. Yay! I'm so excited to be here. I've been getting a lot of good feedback off of social media uh, for some of the apps mm -hmm. I've been using. So I've been privileged to have a lot of good well, what I loved about you, and and I do, I have met other mixologists that are, are fairly friendly and nice. But what I loved about you was the sunshine that just, the ray of sunshine that just illuminated through you at the evening of cultures. Yes, it was an honor to be there, and it was a really great experience. So I'm always lively and bubbly, and I was like, you know what, this is great. I was mm -hmm. really good to be a part of it. Yeah, I watched you for a while. Uh, this is actually Helena McKenna is the CEO, as I told you earlier. She gave me her son gave me this pillow. Let me just bring it over because I'm. They probably say, "What's that doing here?" But you know, I'm always grateful and I'm always thankful. And they they didn't know that's one of my favorite um, lines. And they gave me this at the the dinner, so I just wanted to say thank you. And um, but Helena McKenna is a gem, isn't she? She's wonderful. Yeah. So how She's did you wonderful. two meet? Well, you know, actually, I registered on an app. Mm -hmm. um, for bartending services, mobile bartending, mm -hmm. and Devin reached out to me. Oh, Devin! Yes, yes. <laughs> I spoke with him a couple of days ago. Reached out to me, yes, and he was like, "Would you be interested in you know providing services for this wonderful event?" And I was like, "Sure!" Wow. And it's my first big event. I've been doing smaller wow. events. See how um, God works. Exactly, and it turned out I got more business from that one event, so it was really a blessing. Mm -hmm. Well, let me ask you because a lot of people want to do things, and they say they want to, and and they don't go into action. You know, I'm one of those way back when that you know I would always talk about commentating and never really went into action until one day they needed a commentator and I was the model and I said, I'll do it. So sometimes things happen to push you over. What sure. was that for you? Well, I think it's just a desire. My daughter's going to college next year. Wow. And the reality <laughs> of, oh my God, where am I gonna get this money from? <laughs> um, I have a daughter in college and I have a 15 month old in daycare. Ooh. So, you know what? You a real woman. Yes. <laughs> so the expense of the two and then the children in the middle, it's like mm -hmm. I need to have multiple sources of income. Yeah. I want to be my own boss. I want to be able to have to spend time with them. Yeah. So opening a business was the best thing for me because I can pick and choose the time mm -hmm. and work around their schedule as well. So yeah. it gives me the freedom to say, okay, well, you know what? If they have events or things going on, I can get that time in with them. And when they don't, I can make money. Yeah, well, your new nickname is Superwoman. Yes. Okay, because I met a, a real-life superwoman today, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> so what is it that you want to share with the viewers in reference to your business? Well, definitely I am honored to be a part of a lot of the different things in the community. Uh, I can be reached on every social media platform, mm -hmm. uh, Rain's 5K Drinks. Mm -hmm. I want to tell the viewers, if you have a dream, definitely children are the motivation. Uh, even sometimes you don't have children, it's just thinking about, listen, Time is of the essence, and you can't, you know, waste time because you don't get those days back. Come so just on now. go for it. Just mm -hmm. go for it. Just do it. Just give it a chance. There's a lot of different things in the market you can do. Just find your niche. Find what you love to do and do it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh, well said. Well said. <laughs> um, I wanted to. Um, did you put up the logo for Rain's 5K drinks? It's a bluish, a bluish, purplish yes. logo. And it's like a green something. Yeah. If not, I do have a business card. And have you do? Yes. Just grab that then because I'm... It should say logo and then... No, I don't have it up there? Yeah. Okay, so this way we'll let them see. Yes, here we go. Come on now. This is it. When it's live, you improvise. I am. And I'm always into different things. I'm looking into doing... Um, I have an entertainment company called mm -hmm. Flush Entertainment. Mm -hmm. We have a new artist um, in Jamaica. Really? So I'm going to be doing that Jamaican. as well. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. So we have a new artist, dance hall artist in Jamaica. I'm trying to get him out. His name is um, Money Mike. Wow. Um, music. So well, you have an open invitation here when he comes. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Thank okay. You. Well, 
Um, just give me your information one more time. Sure, so you, you can reach me on Facebook, uh, Rains 5K Drinks, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, also, you can reach me on the Plush Entertainment on social media as well. And mm. then my business card, uh, I can always be reached. You can send me a message, Rains 5K Drinks at email. I'm sorry, at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And she has, she's not leaving because she's putting together a mixology yes. uh, while we talk to our next two guests. Yes, you can clap. <laughs> Who's clapping over there? Woo! Yes. Who's that? Kevin Anthony? I brought a sample. <laughs> I brought a sample of my drinks for you Yay. guys. Thank Cheers. you so much. So she'll be back with um, some drinks and toasts. Yes. <laughs> right now we're going to take a break. So enjoy. And I'll be right back with our next guest, Rodolphus Thorpe. Right, we can sail away, find tranquility. Oh, the canvas can do miracles. Just you wait and see. Believe me, it's not far to never, never land. No reason to pretend that if the wind is right, we can find the joy. Innocence again Oh, the canvas can do miracles Just you wait and see Believe me Sailing takes me away To where I've always heard it could be Dreaming the wind Carry me, soon I will be free. Fantasy, it gets the best of me when I'm sailing. Yeah. All caught up in the reverie, every word is a symphony. Don't you believe me? Sailing takes me away to where I've always heard it could be. Dreaming the wind to carry me, soon I will be free.
Welcome back to the Renee Allen and Friends Show. I am so excited. I have a dear friend that I've known for quite a long time and finally got him into the studio and it's none other than artist extraordinaire Rodolphus Thorpe. Come on now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me this evening. You are so welcome. I know it's been really, really hard to get you, so I'm so excited. That's why we have a full show today, because two people came when I've been trying to get them forever, and you're one of them. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So what have you been doing? Well, I've been just creating, uh, doing the city, doing a lot of shows. Uh, I've been doing some shows in Chicago. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of charitable work for kids. So, you know, I always give back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah. do. Mm -hmm. You do. Well, let's get, you know, for the people who don't know you, and I, don't, I can't imagine anyone in D.C. who doesn't, how did you get into painting? It's a long story, but I'll condense it a little bit. Okay. I've never painted before in my life. And I had gotten married in 93 anyway. My wife told me one day I needed a hobby <laughs> and decided I should paint. And I fought it and fought it, and she said, just try. And I did, and uh, everybody loved it, and they kept saying, I can't believe you did that. And I'm like, I, didn't, I don't believe it either. And I just <laughs> kept painting, and uh, unfortunately, uh, two years later, we found out she had a tumor on her brain, oh, wow. and uh, she didn't survive the operation. Oh, so two years had passed, and I uh, didn't even think about painting. And I woke up December the 16th, 1997, and as uh, soon as my mm -hmm. eyes opened up that morning, it was like, you know, this is a gift she gave me. Let me see what I can do with it. Yes. And I've been wow. painting and doing shows and just really been blessed with this. I mean, I have sold and created thousands of paintings from all over the United States and Europe. Yes. Well, you know, I didn't know that part of your life. And I'll tell you, when God gives you a gift and gives you a wife, that looks out for you and supports you and gives it. For me. I see she is. Yeah. When you woke up that morning, yes. My goodness, well, let you well. Let's give her a big old shout out. Glory to God. Yes. yes. Come on Thank now. You. Yeah. You. Well, let's talk about your okay. art and what goes into it because we do have some art here. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Well, that's easy here. Uh, well, actually, when I started, I didn't know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know oils from pastels, anything, and I wow. just literally walked through the do the store and just it was like I was just reaching for things and I came up with my own unique style and I call it sculpture painting I actually sculpture the mm -hmm. images on stretch canvas mm -hmm. and it looks like a, a glass on canvas yes yes and as far as I know I'm the only one doing this particular style yeah I've been around with the golf tournaments right. and um and JBJ in different places and I've never ever seen any art like this so Let's talk about um, the collection because I know. Now, what's this called? This one is called the Nubian Queen. Yes. And this is the Geisha. The Geisha, yes. They're both gorgeous. Thank you. So let's talk about your collections. Uh, we do have, I believe I sent some um, of your work on video here. Do we have a few? Yes. So let's talk about that piece. Okay. That's a uh, flower. Mm -hmm. That was a pretty nice, that was a pretty large piece that I created and I do all sorts of things I do a lot of flowers religious pieces uh, a few sports pieces mm -hmm. jazz mm -hmm. and I'll, I love painting women yes <laughs> glory to God <laughs> yes sir yes sir. and then what about this one I love that blue oh, that's it's called a dreamer the dreamer yes that's called a dreamer that's an abstract one of my abstracts I'm getting more into abstracts mm -hmm. just kind of mixing it up a little mm -hmm. bit I love it. I, love it. I think I have Thank one you. or two more. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Um, but I would like to talk about, um, yeah, there we go. Okay, the ballerina shoes. Yes, that's gorgeous. Thank you. What was that inspired by? Uh, I love to paint women. <laughs> <laughs> From the head to the toe. <laughs> and yes. here, well, I see a man and a woman here, I think, yeah, right? <laughs> that's, called, that's called Together Alone. He's in the background talking to her, and she's just laying there listening. That that sounds like music to my ears. <laughs> so, so um, I understand there's a lot of celebrities. Of course, I have um, two pieces of your work. Yes. Um, one that you gifted um, a friend of mine and mine, and then yes. one that I paid for. Yes. I love it, y'all. I love it. It's just that um, it is it is pricey and worth it. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. So yes, you're welcome. And so let's talk about some of the people because I know there's a lot of celebrities that have your collection. Um, or have your work in their collection? Yes, they do. Uh, some of the sports figures are Hank Aaron, uh, Calvin Pete, Lee Elder. Um, yes. A couple of the Wizards, um, Questlove, mm. uh, Thelma from Good Times, yes. Brenda Stannis, Kim Coles, 
and Love one of my Kim big Coast. collectors was uh, Smokey Robinson. Oh my god! Yeah, goodness, Smokey's got yes. seven of my uh, large pieces. Beautiful, beautiful. So, being someone who's be, who got into it just on a whim, mm -hmm. uh, a gift from your wife, and then not knowing what you were doing at all, no art classes, I assume. No, no. Um, what do you tell? Because that's a gift. That's a true gift and a blessing. What do you tell the viewers who uh, want, they're interested in something, want to do it, but they're afraid that fear kicks in? Just do it. I mean, because yeah. I still question myself now. It's like, what else can I do? Wow. I mean, sometimes you, you know, you hold back or you think you want to do something mm -hmm. or you might not even think about it. And just listen, you know, in conversations and uh, you'll just try it. Wow. Well, let me change that. Yeah. Don't try it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I take the word try out of my vocabulary. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So how do they get a hold of you to actually speak with you or come and look at some of the collection or to purchase? Okay. Uh, you can go to Gallery Rudolphus, my first name. That's mm -hmm. R-U-D-O-L-P-H-U-S yes. dot com. Or you can reach me at my studio at 202-380-2437. Yes, sir. Thank you. Well, we're, we're not done with Rodolphus because he is doing some collaborations. And before we talk about the one that um, is ultimately here today, okay. um, tell us some things that you've been doing. As far as? The community. or The community. Well, I still do. the. I was doing the uh, Jazz Under the Stars yes. out at um, Presidential Golf Course. Beautiful. Right. Mm -hmm. um, well, I know you're doing a collaboration with one of the nat well, really international comedians, yes. one of my favorites. Um, not Kevin Hart, honey. It's Kevin Anthony. Get it straight. Yeah, get it straight. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> I love Kevin Hart, too. But um, So we're going to be right back with who? Your partner in crime. Yes. Kevin Anthony. Yes. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> up just to dial tone was it you could it be i'm just imagining how it used to be i was wrong wanna be alone i guess i never really got it but now i know it's not about me always getting my way it's not about always looking for a change i figured it out the second i walked away it's all about the little things all about the Trying to clear my mind Where are you? Could you be Feeling the same as me? Do you think of me? It's not about me needing any more space It's not about everything will be okay I figured it out But then it was too late Welcome, welcome back to the Renee Allen and Friends Show. I am standing here with Rodolphus Thorpe, an artist extraordinaire, and we just had an interview in reference to some of his tenure in this industry without any training at all. And then his partner that he's collaborated with, the one and only comedian extraordinaire, uh, Kevin Anthony. Come on now. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> My wife gave me a gift, too. She put me in the bridge club. I jump off next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> different wives here. Different yeah. wives. <laughs> you know, he said that joke because if you're just tuning in, uh, Rodolphus' wife, who has passed away, may she rest in peace, mm -hmm. she gave him the push, the gift, and the motivation and support to go into the artistry. So yes. uh, we're talking about two different wives here. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. So let's talk about the collaboration that you two are doing. Well, uh, 
I'm Matt Rodolphus. I got the Icon Award at Be There Magazine. Yes. And uh, me and Rodolphus met up, and so I'm an Army veteran, and as yes. you are a and Navy yes. veteran. Yes. And so I have been doing, like, comedy toys for tots for over 25 years. Awesome. And I've been doing comedy shows for the veterans and wounded warriors and so we decided to have a comedy art explosion <laughs> and so we're going to be uh have some of my comedy buddies come out and i'm going to be the headliner and mr rodolphus thorpe is going to display all his marvelous wonderful magnificent art yes and uh, we going Rodolphus. Now that's a name for you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm still trying to figure out how many baby books they search that one. Rodolphus. <laughs> but that's my buddy, and we'll be right up here at uh, Sandovia. Sandovia. Oh, right down the street. Yes, right down 48, the street. Awesome. 4809 Georgia Avenue. 4809 Georgia Avenue. November 10th. Wonderful. So please support Seven them. Seven to nine. And we do have the flyer, I believe. And I'm, I want to say congratulations or welcome to Najari, uh, one of our new uh, members of WLVS, who is Hi, working with me today. So, yes, welcome. I'm glad to have you aboard. Doing a great job, too. <laughs> so there's the flyer. Um, uh, with both of them on there, please support them. I would try my best to be there. I'm not what's on the town. Oh, I should be able to be there. The eleventh, I'll be um, I'm busy. Outstanding. Yes. Fantastic. I work with Renee all the way back to the days of the River Fest. I, well, come on okay. now, okay. yes. Right. River Fest. <laughs> okay. Don't be telling on too much. That's right. <laughs> with the whole gate, the rum buns. <laughs> yeah, I was down there, boy. They had me working with the River Rats. <laughs> <laughs> But it was great, I and mean, she was great to me. Thank you, thank you so much. Well, we are going to wrap this segment up for our last guest, and then we're all going to have a cocktail toast together. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, well, I'm dizzy from the last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And also, I just wanted to gift you with a piece, and it's oh. ironic you oh. have the same type of shoes on. Yes, <laughs> glory to God. Look at that, y'all. My red top, bottom, side, and back. <laughs> That's a real red bottom. Look, yeah. everyone. That's the salsa <laughs> shit. That's a beautiful piece. Yeah. You're welcome. I love it, y'all. Yeah. Look at that. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank so you for having beautiful. me tonight. Thank you thank for you having us yes. tonight. Yes. Well, thank you, Kevin Anthony and Rodolfo Thorpe. And we'll be right back with, uh, you know, Tiger Woods is not the only one in golf of color. So we're going to meet someone who really caught my eye and impressed me at the Congressional Black Caucus. Justin Johnson, and we'll be right back for you to meet him as well. I gave my best to some who only gave their worst, but that's all right. So that's all right
back to the Renee Allen and Friends Show for our almost final segment. We have a lot going on today, y'all. We're going to end it with a toast with our Rain's 5K drinks. I'm so excited because I love her drink. And y'all are going to love it, too. So I am sitting here with a very great guy. I mean, I met him at the Congressional Black Caucus, um, and I was walking out, you know, kind of focused on getting out to my car mm -hmm. and he was over there talking and training and accommodating so many people as I walked by and it really impressed me because he was so on top of it you know professional and all that stuff was obvious but he was just his his aura and I was like I stopped you did and I waited a minute and then he <laughs> uh, acknowledged me and I just said what does he do and try to explain everything so I want you to do that Okay. You know, your name, well, Justin Johnson. Right. But um, who you are and what you do. Okay. Well, like she said, my name is Justin Johnson, okay. and uh, I'm the owner of Blue Golf Performance. And Blue Golf Performance, we just teach golf to uh, those of all skill levels. Um, and we specialize in bringing golf to a non traditional platform or space, i.e., the convention center or yes. a school or a party or a festivity. Mm -hmm. uh, we really specialize in that. And what she actually saw was our 10 by 10 by 10 display, which we could have. Uh, we actually have a golf simulator, and it actually uh, is a real golf experience, to be honest. It was and we, beautiful. And we, and we train uh, golfers of all skill levels, beginners never played before, to advanced golfers. Um, we just try to make it fun and make the experience, especially the golf similar experience, you make it fun for everybody. Yeah. Well, we were showing some of the pictures of you training or teaching the children. Absolutely. Can we talk about some of that? Oh, yeah. So this is uh, actually that particular picture. We actually have trained... Um, and we try to give our time and, and, and resources to different organizations. Mm -hmm. um, and a few of the pictures that we do have is from First Baptist Glenard and their yes. health fair. Yes, oh yes, <laughs> Dr. Jenkins. Right? Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah, <laughs> Dr. Jenkins, Pastor Jenkins. Yes. Uh, so we trained there, uh, and it was the same kind of situation where there were a lot of a lot of kids and adults there. We we had a good time. It introdu introduced golf to a lot of folks that may not have played or never even knew what golf was. Yeah. So that was kind of the introduction to it. And I try to go above and beyond people's expectations and make it fun for everybody. Um, we've, and we've also taught golf at uh, KIPP DC, which is a charter school yeah. in Southeast DC. So we volunteered some time there and taught so many youth there. They're around eight to 10 years old and they really loved it. They, they thought the only sport that they could play was like football or basketball. Come on now, you and, know what you know. Yeah, so, and so <laughs> being a person of color that they, that's close to their age, not, not really, I feel, but that could uh, that could associate and and speak their language then actually play golf mm -hmm. and they, they they actually saw it was something that they can attain so it was really it really was cool to see those kids kind of gravitate toward golf and never even playing it before and after three or four weeks of training now they want to be a professional golfer which wow, is pretty cool my, yeah come on now. that was pretty cool I have to get you in touch with dr. Marco Clark who okay. um, runs the Richard Wright um, charter school for journalism and media oh, perfect. right near the Navy Yard. So okay. keep, keep me so I can tell you I, that. I, okay? definitely will. All right. <laughs> I definitely will. So let's talk about you and your career because I understand you are one of the NCAA champions, right? Uh, yes, that's why I have this ring on. Yes, the camera? come on now. <laughs> show them now. Show them. Can we get so, that? Can we get that? Oh, yeah, go. we want to let them see it. Oh, zoom in yes. Yes, there we go. Little, oh, that's cool. A little diamond in there. Uh, wow. So, so with this actually is from college. Yes. We actually, uh, for, I went to Bennett College on golf scholarship. Awesome. So uh, I was blessed to actually receive scholarship money to play golf. Um, wow. And my junior year, we actually took a team of all brothers mm -hmm. and went down there and won the national championship. Oh, so that was that was a special moment for me. One of the highlights in my golf career actually is just bringing a group of all brothers down there and really. And then taking care of business. And well, you know, when you bring a brother into the system, it's going to be okay. That's why, there you that's go. why I've got problems now. They know how strong <laughs> y'all are. Absolutely. <laughs> Look, my mentor last night at a VIP meeting for Nevetica, he was like, oh, you know, they're not going to let us in hockey. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> but we, we in there, over. though. We in there already. Oh, we are? Yeah. Okay, well, I don't see too Popeye many Popeye Jones' son actually has, uh, uh, has a son. Popeye Jones has a son in, 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 in NHL. He's really good. Okay, so that's one. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> He's really good. He's done one draft pick two years ago. So, I yeah. love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when it comes to golf, is it, is, it, is it as difficult as people think? I think it's more difficult, mm -hmm. to be honest. It takes a lot of practice and, I think, determination to actually grasp the game. And, and it actually, to be honest, it's never a game you actually master. Mm -hmm. You just keep playing and I feel like you have to be a certain type of person to like the challenge of torturing yourself every time you go out and play golf because you'll never hit the perfect shot every time. You may hit one 
good shot in 18 holes of golf. But it's just the it's just the sheer determination to improve that actually I think drives people to actually play the game of golf. Because right. it's all it's all on you. It's no team sport. It's just all you. You have yeah. to have that inner strength to keep pushing. Yeah. Well, I, got, I have the inner strength for putt putt. I do pretty good with that. <laughs> but when I've been on the that. bigger nine and eighteen holes, it's pretty intimidating for me. I just kind of sip my little drink and keep it. it <laughs> <laughs> it's intimidating. That's kind of why we created the golf the, the, the golf simulator experience mm. because it kind of brings down that threshold of intimidation of actually physically driving in your car or catching an Uber and yeah. going to the golf course. And a lot of people want to take that step, but we bring golf to you. It's a mobile golf experience, so we bring golf to you, and it it kind of takes down that threshold of actually physically trying to get over the the anxiety of trying to play a new sport. We kind of bring it to you, and you make it fun. Well, you you segued right into bring it to you, because we're going to show them a little swing over here before we have this cocktail. What do you think? (laughs) Let's do it. What's going on over here? Come on with us, (laughs) y'all. Okay, and so. Um, let's see if we can talk okay. So okay, so we're inside, so I don't want to swing the golf club too high. So, what we're going to do is use our putter and take this golf club off. Take that off. Okay, so what this is is a putter. I'm actually, I'll let you do the honors, yes. Okay. <laughs> can they see? <laughs> Probably back okay. a little bit. Okay. Okay. I see. Uh huh. So this is the you golf sure you ball. Don't want to do it. You want me to show you how to do it first? I think you show okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll show you how to do it. Let me <laughs> let me drop it. I always have to have a target. Okay. So let's drop the target down. All right. Oh, okay. There you go, sir. So hold that for right. me. Mm-hmm. So so basically, with the this is called the putter, mm-hmm. and this is the putting stroke. So all you want to do with this is not a full swing. Like you're not going to bring it back all like this. It's just simply a, a subtle rocking almost like a pendulum like uh you know the grandfather clocks from back in the day the little thing that used to swing in the grandfather clock that's all you want to do is like a pendulum swing your swing your arms like that and the golf club should actually be an extension of your two arms so you just want to swing it i'm on the spot now hopefully i hit my target let's see so you just want to swing the golf club just just a slight small little stroke Hit a little too hard. I hit a little too hard, but that, I hit my target that time. You hit the target. That's all that counts. <laughs> and then what about this one so before this we have a... Yeah. So this club is actually... This is an actual golf club. This one you actually swing. So you actually would swing up like that, but I can actually try to do a little, a little trick if you want. <laughs> now, I used to do this when I was a kid many moons ago, and I used to watch Tiger Woods do this. So I'm going to see if I can, I can get it right without hurting anybody here. Should I move out the way? Like you're, you're in good shape. <laughs> so we're just going to bounce it up and down. Yeah. It's something slight. It's, well, it's actually pretty difficult to do, but... Not for you. It looks pretty easy. You want to try it? No. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to... Yeah, I just love the way you make it look easy. Like Yay! <laughs> well, look, thank you so much. Thank you. And this is... Uh, and you can reach me at Blue Golf Pro. So B-L-U-G-O-L-F-P-R-O on Instagram, and also justin at bluegolfpro.com. And it's Justin, J-U-S-T-J-U-S-T-A-N. Yes, yes. Well, we're going to end the show with a cocktail with, uh, come on, y'all, let's, let's get this cocktail going on right here. Yes, we're celebrating Najari, and we're celebrating, you know, I can't leave you out, Jacob, so come on over here since she's doing, she's doing the work today. Come on over here. So, yes, and can you see this? All right, so we could grab a cocktail. You have yours? Ladies, okay. Okay, Jacob. Oh, yeah. How many do we have? Okay, okay. That's okay. All right, and Justin? All right, and if we can all get in here so we can be in the camera. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on in here. Yes. And I just want to say congratulations to all the guests and support us, support the people that are on this platform. I'm here for them. That's why I continue to do this. It's a lot of work, but I'm so excited about the guests who were here today and the guests to come. So cheers, everyone. See you next week. Miss Renee Show. Ooh.